What's up guys, this is Shambles11 and welcome to the Escapist on good old Xbox One. Okay, so, um, I've just escaped and I thought I'd share it with you. Things you're going to need uh, for this method, uh, plenty of duct tape, a naughty magazine, a buttload of forks, um, we're going to need some files. Now, what you want to do is you want to grab a naughty magazine and duct tape, that makes a poster. Put that to one side. You're going to need, ideally, a guard's uniform, which you'll get from your first job. This is the first prison. You can get that and then put it to one side, no problem. The key to this is being good. Don't get in any fights, don't get caught, don't get put in solitary, just behave. Now, you're going to have to find two files and duct tape. Put them together to make the cutters. You can then upgrade them by using more duct tape and another file, plus your cutters, upgrades it once, do it again, upgrades it twice. It just increases the durability. I did mine to maximum, um, I, I think you can just upgrade them once. Put them somewhere safe. Grab your forks. You're going to need quite a few, so do those every time you go for your, your dinner, uh, or your breakfast, your lunch, whatever, every day. You're going to need to steal two bed sheets. they go over your prison bars. Now they stop the guards from seeing you. The only other thing they can see is by peeking through the door and they're going to want to see someone asleep. So grab two pillows and a bed sheet, put them together and make a dummy that can go in the bed. Now you can begin, pick a spot on your wall, hack through into the passageway behind, use your forks. Once all the forks are dead or you've made the hole, you then want to go through the hole, drop everything illegal. If you get searched, you have to start all over again. So drop everything illegal behind it. You can just sit there on the floor. They never go in there. When you come back through, put your poster back up. You can leave your uniform there. You can leave your bolt cutters there. You can leave any spare files, duct tape, and the block that you've taken out with the forks. You are going to need to upgrade your intellect um, and preferably your strength and speed a little bit, just gets everything done faster, but your intellect you've got to keep upgrading. So you need to go constantly um, into the computer room. Now, here we go. So the sheets I've put up, the dummy I put in, I'm going in now and I'm grabbing my last fork. So I've already knocked down the first bit of wall, it's behind the poster. The poster comes down when you've got a free slot, so don't be an idiot like me. Let's put one of those forks back. Okay, we're going to take the poster down and through we go. And we're going to start hammering away at the wall. I've already weakened this one, but let's finish it off. Now, we're outside. Good. So, let's go and get a few bits. Get rid of that block, we don't need it. We're going to need our uniform. We're going to need our bolt cutters. That's pretty much it. Through we go, the uniform will stop any snipers shooting us in case we get caught. Make sure there's no guard towers around wherever you're cutting. This is a route that very, very few guards use. So your bolt cutters cut through nice and easy. As you can see on the durability, there's plenty left. But you want plenty because we're going to use it twice. And I didn't want to come back and have to do this again, so I did it all in one hit. And there we go, freedom. And a little cutscene. Now there's no achievement for being free, um, but there is of course an achievement for um, escaping all six. So there you go. Um, this took me a, a couple of levels. The first one I just kept getting in fights and it was no good. So as I said, I was good. I behaved. Um, and it made it a heck of a lot easier. Remember, the nights when you're not digging, sleep because it saves your progress there we go guys thank you ever so much for watching till next time